Now this story is a shocker and you have to watch these pictures to really believe what happened. BJP's candidate from Rajkot, Mohan Kandaria stars in a crazy stunt involving teenagers at a yoga camp in the city. This video of Mohan Kandaria performing the yoga stunt was shot during a yoga event at the Swami Narayan temple. You can see the BJP leader walking over the necks and shoulders of these young teenagers participating in that camp. These are students of Sanskriti Patshala Vidyale. The BJP leader was the chief guest at the yoga camp, camp there. Watch as Kandaria climbs up the human bridge formed by the young students and then coolly walks all over them. The video has gone viral and has left the BJP red face. But Kandaria has been quoted saying that he was merely demonstrating the students' yoga skills through his antics. Local BJP leaders and organizers present at the function were seen happily applauding Kandaria's stunt. No one seems to really care. Just one misstep and one of those teenagers, one of those young boys there could have ended up getting seriously injured. The question is who should be held responsible? Well, that's something that the BJP really needs to answer as we speak. Let's play out that shocking video once more for you. It seems Netaji was on a publicity overdrive in the pre-poll season and an appearance at a yoga camp just fit into the picture beautifully. Mohan Kandaria got so carried away with the applause that he decided to foist himself on young students and took a leisurely walk over their backs. We really request Kandaria and other leaders like him to at least leave these children alone. No politics can really be allowed to override the safety of students. The big question being, will the BJP take strong action against their Raj court candidate? The question is, why not sack Mohan Kandaria immediately? And here's a quick reminder, for the next few minutes, we will be taking your calls live. The viewers should call in and tell us, should BJP sack Kandaria for this shocking act of his? We already have a caller, Himang Desai, calling in from Endabal. Himang, go ahead. I, I think uh, this uh, Mr. Uh, uh, Kandaria's act is extremely shameful. I think uh, um, it, it was very shocking to see this, the young uh, the middle school children uh, uh, bearing his weight. I think it should be summarily sacked from the BJP. I think uh, they should just sack him. This kind of a person will sit in the parliament. Is it is, is it fair? Absolutely, absolutely, Mr. Desai. Yesterday, there was uh, we had one case as far as Mutalik was concerned, Pramod Mutalik, where the BJP Narendra Modi addressing so many rallies has come out and promised women's emancipation. On the other hand, you had them even going ahead and welcoming Pramod Mutalik into the BJP fold. Today you have this case of a man from the BJP walking on the backs and necks of young children. What really should the BJP do? Well, a viewer who just called and says, sack the man as far as the BJP candidate in Narendra Modi's Gujarat is concerned, he should be shown the door. Let's take you through the video footage again that you're seeing on your screens. Let's just tell you what happened. As far as Mr. Kundaria is concerned, he was walking over the backs of school children and this video has gone viral on networking sites. A BJP candidate in Narendra Modi's Gujarat has been caught on camera walking on children's backs at a yoga event on Sunday. We have Rajesh also calling in from Pune. Rajesh, go ahead. What do you have to say? Uh, I'd just like to say, I'd leave the question back to the citizens of our country. Do we want the leaders to be representing us at all? That's my only point. Uh, this is completely a disgusting what I'm seeing on the TV screen right now. So I'd better leave the question to the viewers and of the country, whether we want the leaders to represent us at all. All right, Thanks. Rajesh. Thanks for calling in. Well, you have very upset and angry viewers calling in saying that it's time that we put our foot down and we ask the BJP to go ahead and cancel his candidature. That's Mohan Kundaria, BJP's Rajkot candidate on your screens. He is seen walking on the backs and necks of young teenagers and this happened at a yoga camp that was organized on Sunday. Peter calling in from Mysore. Peter, go ahead. What do you have to say? 
Yeah, madam, uh, see, uh, this party has been hijacked by one Mr. Narendra Modi. Okay, so this is all what we see is uh, on uh, behalf of his, you know, these kind of uh, stupid people who are there in, like yesterday's case, if you see Pramod Mutalik was taken, then thrown out of the place in two hours. So these are all the people who are, uh, I think they are all from the fake BJP uh, party. All right, Peter, thanks for calling in. You have Peter also questioning the move by the BJP. Pressure should be mounting on the BJP to act against Mohan Kundaria. Well, there was also a quote coming in from Mohan Kundaria where he has rubbished the possibility of doing this on his own. This act, by, he says, was forced by the people of the institute. Mohan Kundaria, and I'm quoting him here, said, I am not an insensitive person and would never hurt anyone physically. The students insisted that they wanted to display their physical and mental strength through yoga. As part of this, I was asked to walk over a group. That was the defense of Kundaria after this story has gone viral on social networking sites. There on your screens, you see Mohan Kundaria walking over young backs and necks of students. Well, he could have stopped himself from doing this, but he chose to go ahead with the event. Shakti Singh Goel from the Congress joins me on the phone line. Sir, what do you have to say about what we see on our screens right now? Mohan Kundaria walking on the backs of young children. This is ridiculous and unacceptable. This is real Charles Chalan and Charitra of Bharti Jinta Party. And the, you know, clarification which was given by the BJP is also more ridiculous. Mujhe kaha gaya tha waha ke ayo ne ya the children had paid to do that. As a, as a uh, responsible politician, if you are attending any function, then you will have to apply your own mind. And you cannot just say that someone has told me to do that and that's why I did it. That's not fair. I mean, yoga, I have attended many yoga classes and this, this type of, uh, you know, actions, I have never seen this. So a BJP candidate is doing some something which is not at all acceptable. and. Uh, I think BJP should take action against the What action party. do you expect, sir? Is it time that they go ahead and expel this leader? Yes, they should. All right, Mr. Goel, thank you so much for joining us on the phone line. I believe we have another caller, Surendra, calling in from Surinagar. Surendra, go ahead. Hello? Yes, we can hear you. Go ahead. You see, this is completely <laughs> All right, there seems to be an audio problem with Surendra's line there. We'll try and reconnect with him again. We have another caller on the line. Keshuram calling in from Delhi. Keshuram, go ahead, sir. What do you have to say? Uh, Ma'am, I just want to say that a channel like Headlines today should not do this propaganda, anti-BJP propaganda. This kind of thing is always done in um, uh, yoga and this is nothing new that... Uh, so you Ma see no harm in what the BJP leader is doing, sir? Well, I find no harm because in yoga we normally do this. So you don't think this is a political so tactic to go to ahead and appease the thing. voters? This is, you are trying to uh, bring down yoga on this. All what right. are you trying to do? Your channel is just trying to do an anti-BJP propaganda, that's all. All right, Mr. Keshiram, we respect your view there, but clearly what we're trying to show on our screens is how a politician yeah, do is walking on, on the backs channel, of huh? young children, which could even go ahead what and injure them. Old, even that man himself was sitting there. Well, then you have, sir, Mr. Keshuram, you have then a quote from him where he goes ahead and says, I am not an insensitive person and would never hurt anyone physically. The students insisted that they wanted to display their physical and mental yeah, strength through yoga. yoga. That's what I'm telling you. This is what happens in yoga. I do sensation of my, the children do sensation. You will say, Pramaro, this is the wrong thing to be uh, done. All right, sir, we take, no, we, we take your point of view. We take your point of view, but what we're clearly trying to show here on headlines today is how these young children could have been hurt in that act. And clearly, as far as Mohan Kundaria is concerned, he had the option of saying, no, I will not be walking on the backs of these young children. We have Kulveer Singh calling in from Patiala. Mr. Singh, go ahead. What do you have to say? Yeah, I'm amazed that people trying to defend or going against it. The fact of the matter is that these people are totally insensitive. They may have some justifications for whatever they want to say, but these people should not be there at all in politics. This is what the, when they talk of game changing, is it a game changer? You go to these children and they say that they have insisted, even if they have insisted, you have a mind to work. Absolutely. You, you, have, to, you have to see and tomorrow somebody would say in parliament, 
that okay, come on, go and slap because there's a policy. If some children insisted, will you go and slap somebody? What are we talking about? These people should not defend. They should simply regret. This nation has forgotten to say say sorry. Woman, I mean, what what does it mean? They can't even say sorry for this. Then what they will do for this nation? I'm amazed. All right, Mr. Singh, thank you so much for joining us on the phone line. I believe Mr. Singh, chairperson of the NCPCR, is also joining us live. Sir, these visuals are extremely disturbing that we are showing on our screens. You have a politician walk, walking on the backs of young children, and then he goes ahead and says, well, I was asked to do this, and I went ahead with it. What do you make of it? Well, I think it's a very shameful uh, matter. And I do not think anybody can justify this sort of a behavior and treatment of children. Yes. Uh, I, we, you know, we, we, we seem to forget all the time that children are the citizens of this country mm -hmm. and have the same rights and deserve the same respect as any other citizen in the country. And just because they are children, they cannot be treated the way we are seeing them being treated here. But what action, ma'am, will you be taking against uh, the politician as well as the BJP? Will you be seeking his dismissal from the party? Uh, the, uh, the, uh, the Commission for Protection of Child Rights is a monitoring agency. It, it, it does not have any powers of its own. Mm -hmm. We will seek a report in the matter and then if required, then uh, so the provision, if, if there has been a, a violation of any provisions of the law, then we will definitely ask the concerned authorities to take action. But Miss Singh, the biggest worry is that these kind of cases will keep continuing as far as uh, the elections is concerned. They see this as a way to go ha ahead with vote bank politics because in this case, at this yoga event, the politician involved had to say that, well, I was just there and I was forced to go ahead and do this act. No, I'm sorry. Uh, nobody can justify this sort of an action on, on the grounds that he was asked to do it. And uh, far, far from uh, receiving encouragement because it will become, it's a vote bank, uh, I mean, a vote catching technique, I think this is a very, very negative uh, uh, publicity which comes out of such activities. All right, Miss Singh, thank you so much for joining us. Ms. Kaushal Singh from uh, the NCPCR saying that she will be seeking a report on this act. As far as the BGP is concerned, no word yet from them. We have another caller, Shantanu, calling in from Pune. Shantanu, go ahead. What do you have to say? Uh, what I feel is, if you really go through the entire video or whatsoever, he has been invited to a function is, is what it looks like. And if, the, if it is a yoga institute, we are, we are harping on the fact that what if young boys would have been injured or whatsoever. It sees a voluntary act wherein they, they were actually asking him to walk over the boys for showing the progress that they have in yoga and this is not something that he is doing without support but or Shantanu, he is not an expert about. in the field no, the point here is that is exactly what is being done here you are not asking an expert to walk over a, a bunch of kids who have formed a formation just to see how, how strong is the formation they have asked him to d demonstrate that it is as good as that now if you talk about young kids being harmed etc etc I am sure the young kids who are yearning yoga there uh, don't go to the class to get harmed there they are in fact showing the strength it's here it's a different uh, matter Shantanu if you have an expert what, walking what on these young is, children what you are doing here is you are just just for the sake of you know some kind of a propaganda here, you're putting on a show here which actually is something out of out of nothing. It is basically some you're creating something out of absolutely nothing. There is there no propaganda larger, here. Let me just clear issues, this. Well, let me just clear this accusation. Here. As far as our viewers are concerned, what we're trying to show here is a big worry. A worry of a politician who's walking on the backs and necks of young here. children. Okay, let's, let's, let's keep, up, uh, keep the fact that it's a politician walking over kids who, who formed a formation precisely for this purpose. So why not go ahead and apologize and say, yes, there was a mistake that I had committed. I'm not an expert in the field. And let me just issue an apology for the act committed by me, even if it was forced on him. It's as simple as that, Shantanu. All right, we seem to have lost the line with Shantanu there. We have another caller on the line, this time from Bangalore. I believe Suresh is calling in. Suresh, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, good afternoon. I've been watching your show. Yes. It is absolutely blatant. Your channel is very blatant and it is being done with ulterior motive and it has got no meaning to be, you know, uh, aired uh, for such a long time. Absolutely, it is blatant. It is totally biased and you are showing something that has got nothing to do with politics. When there are so many issues in the political field happening around the country, they are showing something which is absolutely not political. 
All right, Mr. Suresh, thank you for calling in. But let's just tell our viewers here that this is a concern as far as young children are concerned. You have a politician walking over the backs of these young children. It is an attempt that could have turned fatal and that's what we're trying to point out here. There was the option as far as Mr. Kundaria is concerned to go ahead and reject this offer. And that is the question that we are putting to the BJP. Will you be sacking this leader who actually could have put a lot of lives at stake?